Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a very special impromptu episode. We got a little bit of an urgent breaking news type situation that, um, you know, I want to share with you guys. Now, just hanging out in my backyard today, decided to just bring my camera and uh, switch it a little bit, a little bit and talk to you guys about this. But um, I'm sure you guys have already heard by now, but Mr. Trump came out last night and said that he, he's going to impose 25% uh, tariffs on Mexico. Like he's going to start taxing Mexico now. So now there's a trade war with Mexico. And uh, literally what's happening is that, you know, he said that um, that Mexico has to take care of its uh, border situation, has to take care of its uh, immigrant situation. And if they don't take care of it, they're going to start, the U.S. is going to start uh, increasing tariffs 5% per month starting June 10th. So starting June 10th is going to be 5% tariffs on Mexico and going increasing, increasing until it finally gets to, I forgot when it was, somewhere like in October that, you know, eventually it'll get to 25% tariffs. Now, guys, we, you know, we've already talked about this many, many times before, whether, whether it was with China and now it's Mexico. But at the end of the day, it's you, the American people that are going to end up paying for these tariffs. It's you, the American public, that's going to end up paying 25% more on your avocados or your car parts or whatever the hell it is you get imported from Mexico or China, depending on, well, it seems like they're both going to be getting these tariffs. Now, in my opinion, in my opinion as to why this is happening is because, well, first of all, I'm living in Mexico, so I got a bit of a different perspective. I can now relate to the people in China, because again, I watch other YouTubers and other people from China as well that, you know, like me, expats living out there, and uh, they talk about the, the tariff situation and the whole situation over there, how it affects, is affecting over there, and how the people in China are, you know, up in arms, you know, pretty upset with the US. So the same thing is happening now in Mexico, literally, seems like people are here pretty, pretty pissed off because uh, the US literally just came and took a giant shit on top of Mexico. And, uh, you know, Mexico's pretty upset right now because, uh, you know, the Mexican president seemed, you know, like uh, he, he thought that, you know, uh, Trump was actually, uh, you know, going to work with him in order to not just uh, re, you know, redo NAFTA, but, you know, just to redo the whole uh, relationship and, and trade sh partnerships and all this stuff. But it doesn't seem like it's going that way. In fact, you know, Trump is out there saying that the reason, you know, for these tariffs is basically because of the whole immigration situation. But come on, man. You know, anyone out there that has a two brain cells and can figure out, um, you know, um, this this game, this 13D chess that this moron is playing, um, we, you know, we quickly realize that it's, 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 it's a lot deeper than that. So, for example, you know, right now... Uh, the whole Hawaii thing, you know, was it those those phones, the Hawaii Hawaii phones or whatever the fuck they're called, um, Huawei. That's right, those Huawei phones um, that are now banned in the U.S. Well, they want the you know the United States wants them to be banned in Mexico as well, but Mexico's like no. Why the fuck are we gonna ban them? We actually need technology. We need the mo. You know, that's like what's. When uh, Mexico trades with China or Mexico trades with Russia, the main thing that they ask from these countries is technology. So Huawei phones is part of that, you know, technology. So all of a sudden now, you know, the United States is telling Mexico, hey, listen, you guys can't improve, you know, um, your technology. You guys can't improve your infrastructure. You guys can't improve a lot of things, okay? Because we don't like China and therefore you can't like China. But Mexico... Um, it is not, you know, the Mexico has a very strong relationship with China and Russia. And, um, and again, they sympathize with Venezuela. They sympathize with Cuba. They sympathize with a lot of countries out there that are right now, um, you know, uh, public enemy number one to the United States of America. So these are the things that we also got to look at. You know, it, it, I think it's really, you know, Trump pushing Mexico in order to, you know, break ties with Venezuela, break ties with Cuba, break ties with China, break ties with uh, Russia, and break ties with a bunch of all the other countries that Mexico does business with on a daily basis and, and only do business with the United States of America. Now, of course, you know, all Mexicans are really upset because as you guys already know, I talk about it all the time that, you know, most Mexicans are very anarchistic and very um, uh, liberal, uh, not liberal, very uh, libertarian out here. And as you guys know what anarchism and libertarianism really is, is that small government and let the people, you know, uh, do everything for themselves. And the government doesn't really provide anything, much if anything. And that the people are, you know, supposed to be sustainable, you know, meaning that they got to figure it out on their own. So, 
you know, that's how Mexican people think. So now all of a sudden, you know, the United States of America is telling Mexico, hey, and telling them it's Mexican people, hey, you can't, you know, you can't be sovereign. You got to be our, our slave. You know, you have to be our, our vassal state. And uh, you can't be doing business with China. You can't be doing with business with all these other countries. And so we know Mexico is, you know, trying to recover, um, you know, trying to fight the cartels, you know, trying to uh, recover their economy, trying to do so many things in order to grow as a country and a superpower or a power, you know, not a superpower, but just a power. And now all of a sudden, the United States is saying, no, no, we don't want that. No, you got to be, uh, you know, a small you know, baby brother, you know, you got to be our vassal state, you got to be our colony type shit. And Mexico's like, we ain't no fucking colony, you know, we're, we're a strong country and we've been a strong country for just as, about just as long as the United States. And, you know, there's a lot of history there. I don't want to get into it. But again, you know, I was talking about this last night with a friend, but, you know, Mexico's constitution is literally um, a fork. I'm not a fork. It's literally a copy paste of the American constitution. So the American constitution when they passed it, um, eventually, uh, once Mexico became a free country, they literally verbatim copied the American Constitution and put it in place here. And the difference between Mexico and the U.S. right now mainly is the fact that here in Mexico, they still follow the Constitution, while in the U.S., that shit's gone out the window. You know, whether it's the whole thing with Assange or whether it's the whole thing with, you know, everything that happens on a daily basis in the U.S. And as a matter of fact, today when Mexican, the Mexican president was talking to Trump about this situation, you know, he was saying, like, how dare you? I mean, he was being very nice and very charismatic. The, the Mexican president is more kind of like Obama in the way he talks, you know, very eloquent and he wants to, you know, uh, keep it civil. But at the same time, he said, listen, at the end of the day, the only ones that are, you know, causing humanitarian crises, you know, around your country and doing horrible fucking things to people is you, the U.S. So, you know, how dare you come over here and impose anything on us? You know, we want to fix the immigration issue, too. But, you know, that immigration issue was caused by you guys. And again, you know, I'm trying to make this a very quick episode. But at the end of the day, we know that uh, all these immigrant caravans and all the shit that's happening right now is literally caused by the U.S. And the U.S. trying to impose democracy on, on, on all these countries south of the border in Central America and then making these people leave their countries. Like the Mexican president was saying, nobody ever wants to leave their home. If they are literally leaving their homes to come to another country to start a brand new life, it's because they're forced. It's either that or die. And that's like literally the situation that they're in and most people are in right now. And so, you know, therefore, um, you know, everything that's happening right now, that what, what, uh, what uh, Trump is saying about Mexico and the immigrant situation, and that's the reason why we got to impose these tariffs and that Mexico has to build that wall and that Mexico has to, you know, fix that problem. And again, you know, that's insanity because it's not Mexico's problem. In fact, this is becoming Mexico's problem now because of the U.S. And it has been because of the U.S. Because the whole immigrant immigrant problem has now become Mexico's problem. And Mexico has decided to deal with it by opening up their arms and creating um, an, a brand new kind of like infrastructure across the border so people can can work. And, and all these immigrants have a place to go and, and, and do stuff and, 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 and actually add to the Mexican economy as instead of the opposite. So... You know, right now, you know, the Mexican president is really pretty upset. And, you know, he was pretty much, you know, calling out the U.S. and saying, hey, listen, you guys are the ones that are messed up and fucked up and what the hell. And on top of that, you know, one thing I also wanted to add, you know, some of these uh, politicians in Mexico are also saying is like, listen, you, you know, listen, you know, saying to the U.S., hey, listen, if you don't want to um, work with us, it's totally fine. You know, we'll sell our shit to China. And we'll sell our shit to other people that want to buy it. And, you know, and right now, China will pay us in cash while the U.S. pays us in IOUs. And we would much rather have cash. So, you know, no matter, you know, no matter how this is playing out, it's only going to end up in the favor of Mexico or with the China trade deal. It's going to end up in the favor of China. And, and, you know, same thing with all these other countries. All these other countries are going to end up winning out while the United States is now losing out. And they're continually, continually losing out um, by doing all these things. They are literally making every country around the world either comply with the U.S. or they are now becoming public enemy number one. I mean, who the hell in their right mind thought that when you woke up this morning that all of a sudden uh, Trump was going to have a major trade war or a trade situation with Mexico? 
again, you know, you would have thought it would have been a situation in Syria, maybe something with Iran, maybe something else with China, you know, whatever. But no, you wake up and, it, and it's now it's Mexico, our next door neighbor, your next door neighbor. And again, after I hear all this and I see everything that's happening, I'm like, God, I'm so happy and glad that I'm here already. All right. And shout out to everyone out there that's still trying to get out here. Again, guys, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but, you know, the U.S. is really trying to keep you guys in. And a place like Mexico is very open when it comes to its borders and immigration and all this shit. So, you know, if you come out here and you ask for political asylum, assuming that the situation gets from bad to worse, like really bad, um, Mexico will uh, grant you political asylum as opposed to the other way around, you know, where the United States is not, you know, doing any of these things anymore. Because again, the U.S. is the one that's becoming the totalitarian nation that is, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's scary for most, I don't know, for me as an American, I, I find, you know, um, it very scary to even be in the U.S. or go back to the U.S. for whatever reason. So again, I'm just glad I'm here and I'm glad in a place, I'm glad I am in a place like this where I will be, you know what I mean? Like where here my human rights are actually, uh, taken care of and uh that isn't the number one uh, priority of the mexican government is to take care of its people and i know i don't want to get into all the corruption and all these other things and you know again mexico is not perfect and shit happens out here too but when you come down and when you when you break it all down at the end of the day it really is a lot more free and a lot better out here and uh you know right now overnight the mexican peso got hit extremely hard you know the mexican peso was at $19.10 yesterday and as soon as Trump broke this news last night it you know the Mexican peso lost value and and then to a point as to like our like just a little while ago and, and it might be the same now where it's it went from $19.10 to $19.80 now that might not seem like a lot to you guys but that is a lot and that is a lot for any currency period no matter where the fuck they are um to jump in one day like that so yeah, right now it is hurting the, the Mexican people um, and someone like me that's an expat that gets paid in dollars, it actually benefits me, but it's only right now for the short time period of, you know, right now, um, remember, what's giving these things these values and what's causing the, the peso to jump in price and so on and so forth is literally the, you know, um, the Fed, it's uh, Wall Street, it's um, all these investments and all these people um, that are literally involved and the pricing of the peso and all the shit. So, in reality, you know, if uh, these these uh, tariffs start getting imposed on the American people, sorry, I just had lunch. If these, these start getting imposed on the American, uh, uh, if, if these Mexican tariffs actually start getting imposed, it's only going to affect you, the American people, because how it works is that these tariffs they don't they don't happen here in Mexico. It's literally as the avocados are entering the U.S that's when the tariffs are put in place and then those tariffs are then put onto you so for example if your avocado only cost you one dollar all of a sudden now that avocado is going to cost you a dollar 25. and the same thing is going to be happening with china too so again my estimation and as to why all this is really going on is basically because the united states whoa what was that was some sort of animal or anyways basically what's happening is that the united states of america is is bracing itself for a major, major correction in the stock market and, you know, just, you know, the U.S. economy. And I don't think the dollar is going to fall just yet, but the dollar is definitely going to be affected. The petrol dollar and the dollar are losing value, not just value, but respect around the world where people are using the dollar less and less every day. As these things keep happening, they're going to be losing them less and less every day. And again, I don't want to get into too many details as to that because I talk about this shit all the time. I'm trying to make a short video, which is not working. It's a long video. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I think, I don't even know. Anyway, I, I guess I'll look at the video and I'll see what the fuck is back there. But anyways, at the end of the day, what's, what's happening is that, you know, the, you know, Trump and the U.S. are creating all of these problems, okay? So that when the economy finally tanks in a few months, it, 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 you know, they have something to blame. They have someone to blame. I think it's just fruit falling. They have somebody to fucking blame. Okay, and uh, you know how the people are, they're easily brainwashed and a lot of people out there are pretty dumb, you know, and not you guys, not you guys that are watching this shit, but a lot of people out there, like as soon as the economy falls, they're going to, you know, they're going to say, oh yeah, it's Mexico's fault because of the tariffs and the wall and the immigration, or it's China's fault because whatever the fuck Trump told us, or it's Russia's fault because Russia, 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 and so on and so forth. Instead of actually looking within and, and knowing the reality of the situation in which this whole economy 
you know, has been falling and tanking for many, many, many years. And what's happening now, the, de de the deterioration of the dollar, the deterioration of uh, the U.S. economy and the U.S. as a superpower period is all something that's been in the works for many, many years, for many decades. And now it's all coming, you know, it's all coming to fruition. It's all just that's it. It's all coming to a head. And that's where we are now. But as you already know, they can't blame themselves for their own actions. So they got to go in and blame the rest of the world and uh, what's going on in the world but again guys you know the whole world is literally you know they can't hey guys sorry about that sorry about the rude interruption by the hot humid fucking weather i literally had to run put this in the freezer for a few minutes and then come run back so i can kind of film this but just like i was saying though um honestly right now every single country around the world everyone um that is subject to the petrol dollar subject to the u.s um, imposing all these uh, ridiculous things on them. Uh, again, 90% of the countries in the world right now cannot wait for the dollar to fall, for the U.S. to fall, and for this whole thing to finally be over. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's not personal or, or anything like that. It's just the fact that, you know, the U.S. is, uh, you know, been acting like uh, no bueno for a very long time. And uh, right now, it's just going to get a, a taste of its own medicine and that's it it's only a matter of time so every single country around the world just cannot wait for for this whole thing to fall and uh for this whole thing to materialize so let's just keep a close eye on everything right now and uh just keep paying attention to the news and uh last but not least please please stay awesome please share this information and um thank you to all my patrons thank you to everyone out there and i fucking love you guys to death don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and uh Lambo says hi. He's just like, how come I'm on this video? Anyways, love you guys. Peace out, and I'll see you guys mañana. Have an amazing, wonderful, awesome weekend. And don't forget to start stocking up on avocados. <laughs>